probably going to go and take a look around before we uh, we set camp, uh, just in case there's anyone in here. This <laughs> my first ever video is played in them. Why are you boys watching the, my first ever video? Just admiring the derpiness of all the locations we're going to. Oh, thanks, Andrew. We all, we all started somewhere. Hey, no, that was the Jaguar graveyard. Right, let me turn around. There's some nice minis and Jaguars over there. Oh, is it gone now? I mean, look at that. Yeah, you, non car boy. Anyway, boys, I have gathered you here for a reason. We've been brainstorming for a while. We've been asked, we've been coming up with the ideas for a while, but we've never ever done it. And I must get a uh, hundred comments a month saying we should do this. And now the time is now. Yeah, we're doing it. So over there, you will find each a sleeping bag and a tent. Getting some lights on the door as well. We are doing overnight stays in abandoned places now, boys. This is a thing. This is real. So we have been coming up with the idea for so, so long. I've never bothered doing it. Anyway, we're doing it now. Um, we are heading to a massive abandoned, um, I think it's like a factory of some sort. We're gonna, I'll run down the history when I get there. Uh, I'm gonna fly the drone. We're gonna explore the place, settle in, set camp, and see what the night brings us. Uh, it's kind of nervous, kind of nervous, Kinda. but it's, it's a first, but five, four, year, four years I've been doing this for now, and it's a long time coming. Anyway, let's uh, load up and go. Oh, well, that's the car packed. Whoever. This abandoned asphalt factory is going to be the location for the first ever abandoned camping episode. This factory was built in 1960, eventually shut down between 2009 and 2012. Uh, it was only shut down due to relocation. There has been stories of some workers dying there over the years. It is a factory. Accidents do happen. Anyway, let's get to the location and set camp for the night. Boys, listen to this. All right, listen to this flex. Guess how much diesel is now? I, I, I have this running thing where every time I fuel the car big time, I check how much it is and I show everyone. We're at 129.9 a litre. That's £1.30 a litre. That's that. To be fair, down south, where I just was, it's 134. What? Well, at, at, a service station, at service station, you'll pay £1.59 for a litre of diesel. Uh, here it's one pound twenty-seven point nine for normal, and uh, high octane it's one pound thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. They're not very good at fuel. Boys, you know what? Yeah. We're going to skin to this rate with the amount of travel than we do. Do you know what we need? I we need scared. everyone to hit the like button just to help us out with that fuel. We don't ask for anything else other than a like. It's Well, we better get there soon because sun is setting. I'm currently looking for a toilet for Andrew. Oh, poor he, guy. Uh, he's, oh, man. Poor guy. I, I hope he doesn't mess in the back of the car. I feel for him here. Yeah. Oh, we have a situation on our hands. This is the second stop so far. And it's open. Oh. I do pray for him because otherwise we're going to be stuck with a morning Andrew who is going to be then squatting in a bush somewhere. I don't want that. And no. potentially, I don't know, you could have an accident and then smell. At least I'm not sharing tents with him. That's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I've just received this off Andrew and it says the. Hold on, let me zoom in. There is no toilet paper in here. There is no toilet paper in here. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Andrew. Oh, that's not a funny thing, though, bro. Oh, no. That means no. he's not going to be able to wipe his eyes. It's going to stink in here. It's going to linger. Yeah, no, it's going to go over his boxes and stuff. There's only one kind of fitting reply here. <laughs> oh shit. 
<laughs> Brilliant. Oh dear. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Did you get my message? Yeah. <laughs> I had to use cardboard too. No. What? Oh no. Oh. Oh, I feel sick. He wouldn't have got a good wipe on cardboard. No, he wouldn't have got a wipe. Does this really have to go on video? Just prepare yourselves, it's going to stink. As we start to get all the stuff out of the car, and I start to gear up, the reality of what we're actually doing is starting to set in. I'm starting to become a little bit worried, a little bit nervous, that butterfly feeling inside the stomach. But I'm slightly excited at the same time. This is something completely new for us all. I know you're gonna love this. So if you haven't already, definitely hit that like button, please. It would mean a lot to me. You already know I'm in the premiere right now. I'm in the comments, I'm replying to everyone. Let's take that dreaded walk up to the factory. I mean the gate's open. When I filmed here last, the gate was shut. Oh, was it locked? Yeah. Oh, shit. Normally you'd have to climb over that wall right here. Right. Well, we are here now, boys. Um, well, I don't have anything bright enough. Uh, mine's in my bag. Uh, big one. Wait. Uh, it's intimidating, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. So, the way I know to get it is down here. Watch out, there's some drops. Oh, yeah, don't fall into the hole. <laughs> Oh man, somebody's come in and sealed this up. Obviously it's open there. We can still get in. Right. Is that the original the only way in? Oh, this one's open too. Oh. It's all open. I don't know, but those are brand new. I wonder if they're trying to prevent the place from becoming worse than it is. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, really? That's satanic story. Um, you told me this wasn't haunted or anything. I lied to you. What do you mean you lied? I was going to tell you around the campfire, but... I didn't see this last. I've never seen that before. That's um, old. Uh, I'm worried. Yeah, you didn't tell me. No. Well, why else do you think I've come here to do a video? So, no, I should have expected. Because we're camping out. No, but I said I've done a video. Oh, this before. place looks creepy oh, as well. Wow. It doesn't oh. look that bad from the outside. So you got the old furnaces here. Wow. So let me guess. There's a spooky story where they used to burn bodies in here. No, we believe a worker died in this next room. We're about to go in. And to be honest with you, oh yeah, here's your spooky story. Every time I go in here, there's a loud splash in the water. Oh, you just believe this sound of a worker falling in. Oh, great, bro. Don't fall in there, whatever you do. Oh, shit, oh. what was that? You're banging your tripod against the wall. Oh, shit me up. Edge. I'm on edge. Oh. This is, oh, it's changed. Somebody's broken that down and all that. Slightly different. Okay. Oh, but I'm not joking. Every time, after a while, You'll hear a splash, a big splash in here with no ripples, as if the worker who died and fell in here. What, in there? You'll hear like the residual sound of him falling back down in there. Now you see this machinery here, you can see it better on the top floor. Right. You can actually climb like six stories up to the very top of this machine. Okay. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me about this, Andrew. I know. We should probably hunt explore the place a little bit and find a good spot to sleep. Yeah, well, I, was thinking, I was thinking about this room. Well, no, we don't what? ideally want anything too open, do we? Somewhere, kind of. I think this, open. this is way too open. Yeah, this is 
There's too many ins and outs, bro. Look at the, the sides of the walls. And then that creepy image on the wall. Yeah, that demon on that wall, sir. Is there any smaller rooms we can kind of set base? Voice. Unless it was an echo from others. I don't know. Unless it was an echo. Could have just been an echo. Well, that's the video over. <laughs> Please on the way. <laughs> Alright, this just goes to the back of the building. It's very little to see. There is a top level though to look at too. That's our that's our building right there, isn't it? Maybe we should stay on the top level then. Yeah, yeah we can do. Come on, uh, how's how is it up there? It's alright. The whole building's made of cement basically. Oh so are. so we can't have a fire then? Yeah yeah yeah. It's pretty safe I think. So what goes through, what does that tell you? Um, I don't really remember. Ah, uh, this goes back into this big room. Yeah, this look, this, it's all open. Definitely need something more concealed. This isn't even safe. Look at that. That's what I mean. Exposed right above everything. So why do you think they put steel plates on the doors over there? If I don't know. I don't know. That was a sheep. <laughs> you want to check out upstairs? Yeah, let's go for it. I don't know how someone managed to really bend that down since the last time I saw it. I say go one at a time. How does it feel? Feels solid. Feels good. Feels good? Yeah. Just walk on the edges. Yeah. I can't walk probably because of my ankle. Oh. Oh, which way are you? Uh, left, left. Oh, this should be better. By the way, everyone, from the random Nautica video, my ankle is swollen like hell. Really bad. This is better. Watch your head. Bang the head right on that. Actually, boys, this room, perfect. It isn't too bad. And we can have a fire here. Yeah. With the ventilation there. Yeah, this could be base. This turn, can I fit on either end? So we could just one more way in. Uh, ideally, we'll camp here, have the fire over there, one exit, and we can see the exit then. But what we're going to need to do is find a brush or something to sweep up. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like we found base. Probably going to go and take a look around before we, uh, we set camp, uh, just in case there's anyone in here clear the area, come back, set tap camp, set up, fire, get some food, and you already know how it's gonna be. It's gonna be damn scary. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm ready for it, I'm excited, let's go. Why don't we go make sure there's nobody here? Yeah, I agree. We'll leave these bags here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This corridor's quite sweet. Oh yeah, look up, look up, look up. You go to the top of that if you want. Oh, we'll go to the top out there. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Really? No. Oh well. We'll, we'll go to the top of it later. Yeah. 
Yeah, once we once I think I think once we've chilled out for a bit and we've had some food. Actually, you know, I think we'll chill out first. Then we go and do some more. What's that? What was that? Well, there's a sheep. No, the, the sheep. Did you hear that? Ah, oh. and the rustling. The rustling's a sheep. I wonder if they're trying to get in. I'm pretty sure the sheep are in the field across the way. You know, just fun fact. Hang on, is that? They say the worker fell from up there. Is that? Yeah. Is that Boris Johnson? Ah, it looks like Boris Johnson holding a gun to someone. NHS? That's what that is, NHS, isn't it? I don't know. What the hell? Alright, let's go. Alright, we'll sit down this long corridor here. Considering this is in the middle of nowhere, Andrew, yeah. there's a lot of graffiti and a lot of like satanic graffiti. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get visitors. I, I have yet to encounter anyone else. Here. But you've only been here twice. This is your third, yeah. third time. I believe they used to keep materials here and you can see the railing on the ground yeah and the turnstiles here the circular bits so they have the carts moving back and forth is that a lift shaft yeah it's an old lift that it's for the outdoors and goes outside yeah i'm not i'm not sure i want to go on that machinery how, how far is the drop yeah, enough to break your legs, maybe kill you. Yeah, well, I've already got a sore ankle, Andrew. Yeah. It's already, uh... Not nice here, Good excuse to get your leg in for And you won't have a sore ankle anymore. Uh, I suppose that's true. <laughs> I kind of like that in a funny way. But I like to make all that into... And then when stuff actually comes out of it, it spews out of its mouth. Yeah. I wonder what <laughs> Beefaces would say to that. Oh, trust me, he would have a whole saga on that thing. That thing would be chasing him down the street. No, you think I'm joking? Well, is he really like that? Yeah, well, they found... They saw the uh, mercury reactor inside the underground, and because he said it like a, an octop octopus, they then cut it out and had it chasing him down the bunker uh, tunnels. <laughs> Outside, going up some ways. It's these bits that are the, the scary bit. For me. Yeah, if anything happens and we have to run out, make sure we take our time. I don't want to be running off the edge or something like that. Everywhere though, it's not like it's like one or two. You remember that everywhere. I know. Like these catwalks there. No, there's only one way out. Um, unfortunately. Well, that's Actually, a good I thing. Tell the lie. Tell the lie. There's two ways out. You go up that ramp. Run across there and down the ladder. And the ladder leads to outside right there. Okay. There's no other way though. Alright, I reckon we set camp. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get some camp set up. Yeah, let's Guys, uh, I have set up tent. Yeah, as you can see, we put a little makeshift LED bulb there. Um, let me walk you through. Let me take you in my crib and walk you through what I've got over here. Right, so obviously this section is, is for the lounge. You know, you lounge out, chill out. 
Um, boys, you, they're sat in their lounges, you can see. You can see Andrew in the corner there. Um, I have my bed here, so, you know, it's not too bad. Half, half, half the, the room is a bedroom. Um, over here, this is uh, military uh, artillery. But Wait, why, why do you have that? It's not really, it's got hot water in it. It's a thermal flask. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a thermal flask. A couple of cans of uh, Coca-Cola, you already know how we do it. Red Bull to keep us alive. I've got, um, it's a hexi burner. No, they don't even call them that anymore. A solid, f a solid fuel stove with fuel. <laughs> yeah, for those of you know, it's a hexi burner. Um, gonna be making some hot dogs later on. We've got hot dogs in here. We've got frankfurters. Well, that's good, we want them warm. We're gonna cook them on a fire anyway. Um, yeah, got, a, got an egg sandwich, because you already know in case all this fails. Um, got a Japanese pot noodle. I think it's Japanese, oh, I, really like I got it off a um, Japanese website. Um, he's, well, he's spitting fire. It's a shinkan. Well, he's spitting fire, so I'm assume it's pretty hot. Uh, orange twirl because it made them permanent. Now you already know. You don't miss out on those. And the new Jaffa cake jaw nuts. Have you seen those? Seen those flex? Next level. Oh. Next level. We don't mess around over here. We don't mess around, Andrew. No. Well, we are kind of messing around right now. Well, no, we're just chilling. We're, we're getting used to our new homes. Yeah, we've just built them. We're going to check them out. We'll put the fire there soon. Um, nice. Good thing is we've got good ventilation above us, so... Let's just try not to set our tents on fire, boys. Yeah, let's not. They're just to start the fire. It's kindle. We just need it long enough Bro, to the I said we needed a fire, not a s small flame. How, that's not gonna... That's not gonna last long. We got to hurry up and, and cook them... Uh, what are you standing up? We're going to have to cook those bloody hot dogs quick. That's fine. Can so I just say something? Are you doing the fire there? <laughs> you can this is pretty close to That is really there. close, bro. Just do it in my tent. How close it is to your tent? <laughs> what I would do is I would leave one of those off. For now. I wasn't going to light it right now. I was just putting it in TP formation. What do you want? Do you want to, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. But we need sticks for the hot dogs. Alright, so the boys have all agreed, it's time for food, we need our energy for the night. Yeah. We got just a few pieces of log. God. But we have nothing to cook. Right, Re remind, me Andrew, uh, remind me Flex, never ever to leave Andrew in charge of setting the fire. I did say to him, get like four long lasting logs, you know the ones that come in paper packaging. I do. I the eco-friendly ones that last for about four hours. I couldn't find any. <laughs> I bet you these burn for some time. These will burn for about 10 minutes. It's it's fresh, dry yeah, wood. There's not a lot on there at all. We, we'll be lucky to get a crispy hot dog. They are jumbo size too. Oh, well, we might get a slightly soggy crispy. Right, but we haven't discussed the true elephant in, in the room. Sticks? We need sticks. We need something to cook these on. So I'm not going to just whip, wave a hot dog from the flame until it's hot. Right, okay. Should we go forage? We should probably, yeah. Uh, Alright, so we need to go outside. You have your your uh, pocket knife? I do. Right, so we're going to have to find the stick, whittle it into a sharp point, and then cook the dogs with it and try not to get splinters on our tongues. Okay. This can only go well. I think we're off to a good start. It sounds noisy. Is getting closer. Yeah. Those balls are coming up here. Be in this room. Right, so there is danger then. We may get attacked by a bull while we're outside foraging, like pixies. Listen to him, he knows we're in here. It's like a zombie. He's hungry, he knows we've got them. It's like a zombie at a door, knowing there's flesh in there. Yeah, but they can't climb stairs, can they? Yeah, I've seen them climb stairs, yeah, when they're doing them um, things in s the Spain. Gonna say the metro doors in yeah, Spain. where they run through the streets. Well, that would be interesting. <laughs> I can't climb ladders. <laughs> a bull coming right in front of <laughs> Taking mine and tents, mine and Flex's tents down the corridor. Yeah, we're in the firing line. I know, yeah, you're safe. But think, think, there's a ladder right there, right? Well, well the bulls don't climb ladders, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Don't just watch the bull from above us on the railing. <laughs> right, come on, let's go and get some of these hot dogs. Right. Let's go, right. let's go stick hunting. Let's go. 
Right, let's go and get some sticks. My ankle's sore, by the way. Oh, That's why I'm limping. <laughs> no, I mean, I, wasn't, I was just a good narration, so your explanation is even more important. Are you recording the video camera? Are subscribers either special for us? Honestly, while you're in, you are. Alright, let's find somewhere relatively close. Let's head away from the, the bull, wherever it is. I don't know, I don't know where that is. Wait, listen for it. I don't hear it. Of course, no. it doesn't do that when we need it to. It's really interesting. Hiding around any bend where it's not out. I don't know about you guys, people have done it before. This way? I sure as hell haven't. So that's where we're asleep up there. Oh, yeah. That little. Yeah, that's in the outside. What's that big thing there? Is that a crane or something? It looks like. Hmm. A pipe. Don't know, yeah, maybe pipes. Right. Oh, there's, there's some lot trees or something over here. What's these on the floor? They've got perfect. Yeah. Just watching on these, they've got pits. Well, there was something that's burnt down, yeah, look. It's perfect. Yeah. Alright, so everybody grab the stick. This one's off the ground, that's mine. Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. Actually. I'll go with this one. Alright, I've got a stick. Well, that's good. At least we don't have to go far to get the stick. Alright. Well. Do you want to grab a couple of these logs? We could use these actually for the fire. We could use that, okay. especially. What this whole thing? This one, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me shake stuff off it. Yeah, seems good. A log, well, part of an old tree. Do you want to hold someone? Want to hold the lantern then? <laughs> <laughs> My hands are kind of full. You have like a terrier with a stick that's too big for the door. Yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, does one of you want to go in front with a torch? Let's take a right. Okay. Right, this, this. Was that you? No. What? Splash. What the hell? There's a splash. Is there any ripples in the water? No. No, no ripples in the water. You sure that wasn't you? Yeah, that's the third time that's happened to me here in this oh, place. Oh, hang on. The water is moving. Is it? Where? So is this? This is... I wonder if there's concrete falling off underneath it. Possibly, when we're walking Well, on one it. theory I heard was that there's gas bubbles that got disturbed and make a fucking... Smash. Well, let's not light the fire just yet then. <laughs> right, I'm going to need a hand bringing this upstairs. Yeah. Someone go to the top and then pull it up, I think. It's, it's 
definitely long enough, isn't it? Yes. It's a nice bit of wood. It's, it's a bit too long. No, we're we going to need a hand, Andrew. Oh, it's a bit too long. We're going to have to push it up again. Bring it in the other way. Yeah. Oh. Alright, arms going up for safety and there it comes. Uh, I use this ball. I'm going to be the next guy that drives in here. No, you won't. Okay, I've done this before. Have you? No. Never. Never, ever. There we go. Alright, watch the tents. Let's put it here for now. Yeah, there's the Yeah. That's good. Look at that, we've got more wood now, Andrew. Perfect. No, well, I've got water, haven't I? You have water? Yeah. That's bottle of spray. Well, I've got water, two Red Bulls and two Colts. Do you actually know how to use this? Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, you have, that's the flint. Wait, you bought a fuck, you bought a flint? I have a light on me too. But we should probably use the light, because you need, you need, um, how, how, how rugged I is that? I know, but you, you won't light it with that, you need, um, you need Kindle. It's like, frag, fragments of wood, just, fragments of wood. No, it will never work. Oh, I thought it'd be cool anyway. It might be cool once we've got the proper stuff, but... Alright, alright, alright. Well, I got toilet paper and a lighter. You just need a lighter, bro. Of course there's one. In for the, um, what looked like mashed up cardboard. Yeah. Those, those, uh, fire lighting bits. Tip it upside down. To have topped it. Really? Okay. Yep. Fire burns up. And cardboard doesn't burn at all. Well, I think the problem is it's, it's fire retardant cardboard. Oh, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. I actually have some proper there. fire light. That, see, that's, that's a fire light. So. Let it no, tip it upside down. Yeah, let it, let it start for a bit first. Let it ember. Yeah, and I'll try and get it, weave it in the middle bit down. Got to let it touch the floor because that's where the other bits of, uh, oh, you put, you suffocate it a little bit. Well, yeah, they yeah, leave it wrong. There we go. Yeah, that should be okay. It might reach the bottom. There we go. Congratulations, uh, <laughs> demon. I thought you could have just clicked your fingers and set the fire. Um, what was that bang? Probably nothing. It's the factory coming alive because we're bringing energy back into it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Bust me, bust me on, dog. Yeah, they're all those big. Big, they are big. I want all those big sausages. Thank you. Is it safe putting them on a steak? Yeah. No, it's very dangerous. Deadly. Mm -hmm. Sure. Absolutely positive. You mind me? I'm not even trying to I just being sarcastic. Oh. It's perfectly safe. That's how we do it in America. Please. I've never done this before, you know. I don't know. What? <laughs> Normally this is marshmallows, not, not big sausages. Yeah, it's just try and keep it, don't put it deep in the flame. Just try and keep it kind of okay. above. 
and it cooks after a couple, like a minute. Ah! <laughs> Yo, why, why is Derek so small? Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> because I did it and I ended up <laughs> Look, Listen, alright. Accurate sizes. Hey! Have I done mine the wrong way or...? <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You probably did it the right way, actually. I thought this is how they did it in American films. They went like like a well, skewer. Well, we're all sideways. Mine's starting to. I can't put mine too far because it's burning my hand. <laughs> Should I make a larger stick there? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to change it in a minute. I'll go for that swirly fly in there. Next time, can we bring knives, forks, plates, and all that kind of stuff? Just have a fork. <laughs> and you want oh. your hot dog slightly charred. Don't want to my tent. Why is it closer to my tent today? Uh, <laughs> don't come off me again. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Mm. Oh, that's good. You think it tastes all right? Yeah, it's a damn good sausage. That's really good, in fact. Mmm. That's good. I actually think Andrew's onto something here. Mm. I've definitely learned something from this, though. Use a bigger stick. Yeah, use a bigger stick for your big sausage next time. Right. It looks longer on camera. They tend to look longer on camera, to be honest. Like, if I went like this, yeah, it would look a lot Yeah, it looked it's longer. It, really. Yeah. Deception. It's what they do when they advertise it. They make them look bigger than they are. Right. It's a really good fire. We should have bought three or four packs. Yeah. There's one more hot dog left if someone's still hungry. That was oh, that's brilliant. I'll tell you what, it's only fair. Yeah. Let's rock, paper, scissors for the last hot dog. I don't mind. Let's rock, paper, scissors. It's always fair. Oh, yeah. It's always fair with the rock, paper, yeah. scissors. Are you ready? Remind me what happened in France last time I did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. We, we first taught Flex had to pay, play rock, paper, scissors. So this time, we'll do it. It's rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. And then obviously so it's I've paper. Changed my hand, hand this time. Yeah, change your hand. I've learned my errors. Hey. What the hell? It must be a train or something. Or a stampede. No, it's not. It's a car, that. Are you serious? That would explain the why gauge shut as well. can't drive up here. Unless they've got a key. There are trucks that drive by, too. What? There are trucks that drive by, too. Well, it's, it's I don't know if you guys picked that up. Right, you ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, rock, paper, shoot? No, we'll just go rock, paper, scissors. Right, right you ready? Right, go on then. Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Oh, Does you won. I've won? Yeah. What? Just you like cut that. both the papers, yeah. So that's paper. Yeah, that's scissors, scissors, rock. And scissors beats paper. I'm really good at this. You are actually really good at this. I've, I've won.
quite peaceful. It is. It doesn't feel scary at all. Well, I guess that could change. Mm. Shape. same place before I heard something bang. Um, oh, there's nobody down there. Maybe just the wind. It definitely, definitely sounded like a voice. What did it sound like it said? It sounded like it said anything, it sounded like it moaned. Okay. Right. Uh, ready, are you ready? Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose so. I'm having to use my hoodie as a pillow, I'm going to freeze. And using yeah. my jacket. Yeah. Um, I put my hood up, I think. Right. Well, it's like glass and concrete, but... Um, good luck, guys. If you hear any noises, make sure you just shout, because... You know, I don't want to be murdered in my sleep. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be alright, we've been fine. It's, it's what? Half one. What time actually is it? Half one. We'll be fine. You've made it through the majority of the night anyway. There you go. Right then. Right. Good night, guys. Good luck. Good night. Now, as you already know, I was kind of smart. I brought some snacks and stuff, so I'm probably going to have my Jaffa Cake Donald thing. I forgot to have this. I've got half a sandwich left. But I'm going to enjoy this right now. Night, Andrew. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought they were asleep, but they're not right. Night, everybody. In all seriousness, I could hear a noise on. Yeah. It's to the left of my tent. Uh, what is that, my direction? You, facing you, yeah. Yeah, is that's why I keep hearing the noise. Are you guys recording? Yeah. What? Okay. Are you recording? They have not switched off yet. I'm eating jaff cake donuts. I swear to God. <laughs> I want one of these jaff cakes. Right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm just going to... I've got to sleep, I'm going to turn my light off and that. Yeah, that looks fine. Otherwise I'm never going to get to sleep. Right, that's cool. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Yo, you work away? Yeah, yeah. Shh. What was that? Hello. No, what was that? Someone walking up here. So cold. It was definitely someone walking. I told you. I told you. Now I 
explain that. Unless it's a rat. It sounds like someone on the back of your tent. as well. like a car door. Yeah. Just in the distance. Could you hear the temperature change? Like the, the pressure change. Mm -hmm. What was it? Is that? One, two, There's something down there. Right, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Can I move my, why is my tent? Where's my light? Where the hell is my light? Okay, don't panic. You're the one panicking, Andrew. Yeah. What was that? It sounded like something drop. I don't know. It's only down that corridor, though. There's definitely some noise down there. What the fuck what the was hell that? Is that? Oh, move. What was that? Are you for real? Are you, are you for real? Right. Shining lights in there. This is what. It could be a mouse. It could be a rat. It a could mouse be doing that. Loud. It could be knocking something off. Where are you going? I'm not going back in there. Let's stay here. I wonder if it's coming from the elevator. There's nothing that could make that noise in here unless it was sort of falling off down the railings. There is a level inside of there. Really? Yeah, but the only way through it is the ladder outside. It's, I don't think it's safe. I tried once. But I can't sleep in here. We need to check the tents. I can't sleep in here. It's too late like it's happened, Andrew. I mean, right, let's think logically, okay? This is a very old place. A very old place, it could just be... Train. Train lines up. Yeah. Train lines. That bang could have come from in there. What's in there? It's another big room, look. Oh, it could be anything. I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe we're sleep I can't believe we've got tents out up here. I'd rather sleep in a house, but we no we don't. <laughs> I would rather sleep in a house. We're have a little bit longer to get 
What, two hours? Two hours of daylight. Two, two hours till daylight. Hi, hi. What? Oh, is that reflecting off the... Yeah, I think it's reflecting off yeah. that bottom thing. Yeah. Right, um, I don't know if I'm going to go to sleep. I think I'm just going to sit in the tent and just uh, with my door open partly. I can't stop shaking. I'm probably could, if I do fall asleep, I'm just gonna leave my door open partly so I can jump out if I need to. Yeah. yeah. But if you guys want to do the same or what? I kind of think we should have got a bigger tent. There's still something here. Unless that was being a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. But that, that yeah. But imagine some some like idiot. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. <laughs> it's better than wiping your bum with the uh, the inner tube of the toilet roll. Such a demon. What? I think you just make it hard work for yourself. Do you feel better? Yes, except the whole asshole's on fire. I'll be alright. I wonder if it, I wonder if you're weak intolerant. I don't know. Oh. I wonder if you've got yeah, I wonder if it sets you off that. Have you had any wheat tonight? I had a burger with jalapenos, cheese, and chili. What, you wonder why you've got the room? Or some hot sauce. <laughs> or some fucking, bar or sorry, uh, hot wings. You, you wonder why you've got the rooms. And I'm pretty sure it was Carolina Reaper pepper sauce on it. Well, that explains the right But even if I don't eat that shit, I swear. This is like Medical a diagnosis over. Now? Are you actually trying to go to sleep? Yeah. Really? Well, I'm just ready uh, contemplating life and the decisions that I've made. <laughs> What's led me to this point where I'm laying on a concrete floor in a tent? Well, there's weird banging noises going on and stuff. You can argue it's a bad decision, but at the same time, fucking you're living big, so. Well, yeah, it feels like it right now. And I had fun anyway. We've yeah, all woke up. Moon. We've all woke up. It is freezing. Absolutely numbing cold on this ground. The first hour, fine. But then I just got a walk up, which felt like water on my back, but it wasn't. The cold had seeped through the floor, through the sleeping bag, and was just numbing my back and sides. So I think we're, we're going to attempt to fight, light another fire because we're freezing. <laughs> we're absolutely freezing. We need to get some new equipment. If anyone has any recommendations, please let me know because I had no idea it was going to be this this cold, especially in summer. Right, so we've just been panicking, thinking how we're going to get this late because we don't have any fire lighters or anything. I've got my trusty Hexi burner, which has some uh, fire lighters inside it, so we're saved. We can actually have a fire. We just need to uh, break up that log more now. I can feel a cold draft coming through even more. You ready? The noises are still happening. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is just the building though. Right, so we're just getting the fire going again. Oh, cheers for that. Um, I do want to add, the noise has never stopped. As we laid here in the dark, the majority of the night has been weird noises. And oh, that's so much nicer. <laughs> I wouldn't try this into life. This is, yeah, this is, this is pretty perfect to be honest. You can't think of anything better. Well, be good if we had like a pizza delivery. That would be good as well, yeah, but very unlikely. I don't know, we could probably do that one time. Depending probably on order the a pizza to the abandoned place. If we are somewhere that's pretty local to it, yeah. We'll give it a go. Yeah, I would. It's quite fast free. We've done, we've done pretty well to be fair. Oh yeah, of course we have considering this is the first time we've done it. Yeah. Is it the first time you've ever slept in an abandoned place, though? Mm. Well, like, not slept. But no, we, we slept there at the thingy one. Oh, 
Oh, we did, yeah. The bit in the millionaire mansion. Oh, I forgot about that. I was trying to think before that. Like, but that didn't feel abandoned because of how nice it was. Oh, but that wasn't camping, though, did it? No. No. This is like, this is on camping. Yeah. Look at this is like wild and nice. Revolving. Well, when the birds are out, you officially kind of know it's morning time. Survived. It's daylight outside. Well, almost daylight. The fire is just about to finish. It's lasted a good time. A couple of hours, that second fire. Better than the first one, though. Right boys, well, the fire is out, the sun is out, it is time to get up, we survived the night. It's time to get up so A successful first ever overnight camping trip inside an abandoned building. Now if you enjoyed this, it's obviously not over yet, but if you have enjoyed this, consider hitting the like button. You already know, the more likes we get, the more I will uh, obviously want to do more of this. But this is a full series, uh, hopefully we're going to do a full series, if you have any kind of suggestions, super haunted spots or anything like that, leave a comment down below where you'd want us to go, any old places we've visited before, uh, make sure you leave a comment down below because uh, I'm going to be needing some suggestions, I want to see what you guys want, maybe I'll even do a poll on Instagram, probably. Alright, birds are tweeting, daylight outside, we have finished. Fire is nicely put out. Which way we get out of the hole goes the same way. Okay. Oh, here we go. There we are. Okay, so I just flew the drone because when we got here at night, it was so damn dark. And that's the darkest I've ever flown the drone. Um, so we got the nighttime drone shots of us walking into this place. And I just chucked it up for the daytime shots which I probably showed right at the beginning anyway, but you already know. Right, on our way back to the car. Hopefully it's not been towed away by a crazy farmer. And we are back at the car. Everything seems to be in order. Yeah, everything seems to be good. You already know. It's more fighters Instagram.
left got some good photos, didn't we, boys? Oh, yeah. We spent quite a bit of yeah. time doing our photos this time. Well, that's true. That is true. Saying that. Yeah, no, yeah, that is the point. We we do seem to rush a lot, so it was great to to be able to just sit down and think about how you want to film it. Although it was difficult because this is our first time we've ever done it. We'll see how they progress. No doubt they will become even better. Even better. Yeah. Even better. Well, fighters, I really hope you enjoyed the first ever episode of Abandoned Camping. I had an amazing time. I didn't even think I'd enjoy it as much as I did, but I loved it. I cannot wait to get out and film episode two. You already know, stay tuned probably next week. We're going to continue the Brandon Autica, Normal Abandoned, Normal Adventure, The Odd Paranormal, and now, Abandoned Camping. You already know. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and leave me a comment down below.